How's it going, everyone? My name is Graham, and this is Body of E- <laughs> That was terrible. How's it going, everyone? My name is Graham, and welcome to Body of Evidence. This game is in beta, so please don't judge too harshly. There might be some bugs. This is from Empyrean, the same developers who are working on House Flipper right now. Body of Evidence is a game about cleaning up crime scenes. I don't know if you committed the crimes or not, but these guys have some sort of weird niche right now about first-person cleaning simulators. The last thing I remember when playing cards with a guy from my shift. The loser was supposed to check tickets. Mom always told me not to play with card sharps. Aren't they sharks? I know there's pool sharks. Am I a moron? Have I been saying it wrong all these years? I think they're wrong. I will dig my heels in and never change that opinion. I never did listen to her. I lost for the fifth time in a row, so I was the lucky one who got to bother the passengers again. I don't know what happened next. I woke to the annoying bring of a phone, and I had an uneasy feeling. What is wrong with my tiny little baby hand? Oh, phone. I should probably go grab the phone right away, though. I don't know. There's th This guy's, like, doing crunches while he's dead. I feel like most people's necks aren't up like that after they die. His legs are clearly all limp, but he's, like, kind of reaching for something and clearly just staring right in my soul there. All right, I'll grab the damn phone. Hello there. I see that you got yourself in quite a situation, huh? Someone is aware that this happened? I'm fucked. <laughs> Jail for sure. Now believe me, you don't want to go outside like this. You will be visited by some nice gentlemen quite soon. Oh shit, am I on the clock here? I highly recommend that you listen to me so you don't get in trouble. First, you need to hide that body somewhere. I suggest using Mr. Bathtub. Is that really hidden? I guess if someone's just like opening the door and glancing in, they won't notice. If anyone like looks around, I think within the apartment as a whole is the first place they're going to look. I think if you want a long term solution, outside of the apartment's better, but let's work with. We're, we're on a time crunch here. Oh shit. So we're just left on our own right away. How do I pick him up? Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't expecting him to ragdoll. I thought it would like teleport to my inventory. Alright, well, I'll grab him from his natural handle, and then from there I should be able to drag him straight to the bathtub. I don't, I just realized I don't know this apartment at all. I don't actually know where the bathtub is. Can I kind of chuck him? How much, how much can I move the body? Can I just weaken to Bernie's this guy the whole time? When people come to the door, I'll be like, Oh, good to see you, Jeffrey. Why don't you make yourself at home? Oh, th so this is just the bedroom. I thought this was this guy's, like, entire apartment. Let's, let's, all right, we're on the clock, so I better look around first. Oh, the time is counting down. Oh, shit, son. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm not, not leaving yet. Uh, I, I didn't, I didn't really, I was goofing around too much to realize how little time I actually had here. God, this damn dead weight. Get in the tub. The tub doesn't even have a curtain or anything. It's terrible. I'm making worse of a mess by... Oh, I shouldn't have dragged him around so much while I was being an idiot. Get in the tub. In the tub. I don't want any of your loose, goofy... <laughs> Good enough, whatever. Your loose goose goofiness. Your loosey-goosey. Good, he looks comfortable. I don't know about that. I slammed him face first into there. Now you need to clean all this blood. You should find something helpful there. I'm, I am I did see, I saw a mop or something. Yes. You need to have a bucket in the inventory. There, I have that. And and this, I can toggle between things. Or, or I can do it this way. Okay. So I just automatically, automatically things are wet from the bucket, I guess. Uh, should I clean him? If I clean him up, then I, people might not notice he's dead. They might just think he's getting ready for a bath. Oh, shit, there's more more to be cleaned there. Oh, God, I smashed him around on the table and everything. I made this so much harder for myself. I don't know if I have gloved hands or not, but I probably would have to clean this more thoroughly than I am actively doing. No, I'm not answering the phone right now. I clearly still have blood to clean. If you're watching me, give me a fucking minute. Now just close the door and hope for the best. That was your solution? Drag him into the bathroom and close the door and I guess scrub a little bit? That was not great advice. I could have figured that out for sure. 
I don't know what's happening, but I do know that I want to go back to my apartment. I'll visit Binoc- I- Mark, is that the other guy, or is that me? I'll visit Binoc, my high school friend. Maybe he'll let me stay in his house for a few days after I murder him and hide him in the bathtub. Body cleaned? Body hidden? Yeah, good thing I gave him that bath. Good thing I cleaned him off. Total points? Zero. Fucking nailed that one, didn't I? Ooh, money? A hundred? I get paid for this? Ooh, baby. I screwed up and accidentally restarted it hitting a back button. So now we'll just see how many points we can get. Let's see if I actually do this in a timely manner. Does that not count as in the tub? Come on, it's so picky about what counts as in the tub. There. Much easier when you don't dance around the room with a dead body first. Four whole minutes left. I killed it. Oh, didn't close the door yet. Killed it. And also I killed him. I killed two things. Two birds at once. Apparently you just never get a score for that one. So on to number two. Mr. Armstorm needs... That's the most made-up name I've ever heard. Needs some help cleaning up his bar. Time's of the essence. Banach recommended me for the job. Now, what would I want to bring with me? Ah, can detect small traces of blood? Well, it's free, so yes. Also free, so yes. Probably going to want some lock picks. Ooh, a body bag would be good. With a built-in ballast? Is that, like, so you could sink the body easily? Parachute? For some fucking reason. I guess if I need to escape out a window, I should I should tie this to the bodies and chuck them out the window. Way better than a candle. And I'll have plenty of money left over if I buy all this stuff. Mr. Armstorm needed some help cleaning up his bar, times of the essence. I was recommended for the job. Blah, blah, blah. There was an accident. Two men are dead now. What were you doing, Mr. Armstorm? It's Storn. That's slightly less made up sounding than Armstorm. But still, it's a bullshit name. You don't have a lot of time, better hurry up. Do it right and you get the money. But you happen to fail the job, you will pray the police catches you first. Any questions? Uh, yeah, I want out. I don't want to do this for you anymore. I didn't realize my life was on the line. Where do I find cleaning gear? What should I do with the bodies, maybe? Seems like a pertinent question. What should I do with the unfortunate ones? Just get them out of sight. We'll get rid of them later. Any questions? Yes, several more, please. Where can I find some useful cleaning stuff? Uh, well, get on with it then. First things first, can't clean bodies on an empty stomach. Want a quick snack? I am not allowed. It will not l allow me. My god. Yes, this is quite the bloody murder scene. I, I do want to find like places to store the bodies. Those are the two most obvious spots for certain. Perfect. Cleaning supplies, got that under control. And, ooh, but maybe we put one guy in the toilet? That would be a funny prank. I personally would get a bit of a laugh out of that. Was he fighting agents from the Matrix or something? Jesus. God, this is hard to... I'll pull him by his ear or something. They're so difficult to drag. Can't help me out a little bit, can you? Can you, buddy? Just pick up your feet a little or something. We're grabbing him by the butt. Oh, if you leave him in one place for too long, then he starts splashing blood around. Well, there's the obvious place to put the body, and then there's the funny place. Maybe if you put someone on the toilet, they would open up the bathroom door and see the guy taking a dump. And then they'd be like, oh, sorry, sorry, buddy. Can't make it look like he's puking, though, because then they'll be inclined to try and help him. I'll get you. I'll get you on there. We'll make it, we'll make it work. <laughs> there, he definitely looks like he's sleeping. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say that looks like he's, uh, he's pooping. So we'll just close, oh, we'll, we'll clean that up a little bit so no one catches sight of that. And then we gotta close him up in there and no one, no one will ever think to inspect any closer. I noticed it was pretty bloody on the walls here, so I, I should clean that while I have it in mind. These damn countertops and everything, too. I, I, I haven't even seen the second guy yet. It's really dark in here. Ah, there, there he is. So, up and over the counter, try and save time, go a little bit shorter distance. There, I'll just chuck you on over the side there. <laughs> Maybe I just make him look like he passed out drunk at the bar. Just a little bit of a fetal position there. Clearly had too much to drink. 
Come away with me, Siegfried. Hmm. The game might specifically be set up that I have to put them in these boxes. These freezers or whatever they are. I wouldn't be surprised if it like do doesn't count what I did before. I think it's a brilliant plan. But uh, I don't think the game's really going to go for it. Felt like I, I bought the different equipment, like finding trace amounts of blood and stuff, but I don't actually get it. Maybe you have to find it within the level or something, the same as I do, like, the mop and bucket. Oh, man, there's plenty of other doors to run through. Another toilet. Oh, that's so disappointing. Oh, I could have put them both on toilets. I could have put them on toilets next to each other. I could have shoved one guy into a urinal. That'd be a good prank. What the fuck is the layout of this building? Okay, so bathroom with urinals, men's washroom. And then there's the ladies' washroom. Oh, and then that's probably like an employee's washroom. I was like, why the hell are there bathrooms everywhere in here? Almost missed that little spot. Here's some tricky blood spatterings. Well, I'm gonna leave. I think it's good. Are you sure you're finished? Yeah. Give me my money. Oh, I immediately saw some blood, I think. Oh, I have to like write up fall knocked over chairs and stuff that makes sense my favorite chair you fucking blind i guess so man I, I i do apologize for that i didn't realize you gave a shit about things being knocked over but that does make sense uh okay so what what's the next thing then he's feeling pretty good about all this was leaving all the doors open bad was i not supposed to have done that oh i'm really looking forward to this guy oh something about Something about a bar stool being knocked over. I didn't have the pause on detection thing checked off. Didn't see that body. Oh, I missed a little bit of blood when I was poking the guy into the room here. Now he's going to jump into the room. He's going to see the dead body. He's going to, oh, pardon me. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to interrupt. And then he's going to leave immediately, right? He didn't even go check that bathroom. So I nailed that. I got a couple detection penalties, but he didn't find the guy in the bathroom for some reason. He just ignored that one room. Oh, probably because the door was closed. Can you put things anywhere as long as the door is closed? <laughs> Seems a little bit easy to game the system then, doesn't it? The Soap Club. I think I've found my calling. Someone else contacted me about my services. The voice on the phone mumbled something about a support group. I couldn't make everything out, but I managed to pick up that something needed cleaning. What else is new? It's a living. I have to do this every time? It doesn't even make sense. I just, like, find the stuff on the levels anyways, so I don't really get it. Maybe if I put it all on equipment this time. So I, oh yeah, yeah, now, now I appear to have everything. Well, this is a shithole. And someone wrote fight on the wall in blood? Come on, guys. You're just not making my job easy. Like, do I have to pick up all this trash all over the floor? It doesn't seem like it. I think I, I think I'm allowed to forego that. Oh, this is just caked right on there. I can't clean this. But if I wet it up a little bit first, maybe it would help. Let it soak for a minute. Shit. There, I'm boned. Oh, there's a, a living person here. The narrator. Hi, man. I'm narrator. We've glad that you were finally here. We have glad. Yeah, sometimes I acquire glad as well. A nice sunny day gives me glad. A nice long walk on a starry night gives me glad. I'm glad to have brought you glad today. As you can see, we've got a little mess here. Colleagues exaggerated, the cultural fight turned into a battle. Jesus, <laughs> we need your help cleaning this. We are made to fight, not to clean. This guy is just like not willing to put in a little bit of effort. How are you gonna be a successful businessman if you can't roll up your sleeves now and again? We will. Re you will receive a full payment for your work. Thanks for the information. These stains seem very dry. How do I clean them? I do want to know that, actually. If you have trouble cleaning the blood, you may find something that will make the job easier in the cupboard. Here, take the key. Any more questions? What should I do with the body? Uh, body? He lives... Body? He lives. Easy. Unless he gets up, just cover him with a mattress, and it'll be fine. 
What does that even mean? What do you mean he lives easy? What do you want from me? I'm just going to push shit on top of him and we're going to call that good? First, can someone tell me where is the body? Ah, yes. Let's see if we can, like, bend his legs over his head. Let's see how flexible this guy is. How, do you become more flexible when you die? Probably. Like, that's pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? I know I certainly wouldn't be able to do that. All right, well, now we have to. Oh, he just sat right up. It's pretty hard to, to make him do a little bit of, uh, push his head down in there. And also, and also, and also, for added pleasure, you should grab your own butt. Just give it a little squeeze there. Good prank, right? So he'll be sitting there completely not flat or just completely conspicuous. Oh god, I'm standing on the mattress that I'm carrying. This is a fun little ride that you can do to fly up to the rafters. Just, I'm just, I just need to surveil, surveil the area a little bit. It's not conspicuous at all. No one will, no one will ever find him. That's just perfect. I should go find that cupboard that that guy, that guy was talking about. Bonus prank. I'm, I'm putting a mattress on top of this shirtless dude here. Got him. Oh, covered. There we go. There we go. What the shit? Our best product, self-made. It's Taylor. So it was totally like a Fight Club thing. The pink soap, I was just about to realize that it was a Fight Club thing. Take as much as you want. We have it in abundance. Who the hell are you? That's why the other guy is just named Narrator. It's Narrator and Taylor. Oh, I should have figured that out sooner. Call me Taylor, founder of this club. You know, what is the basic and most... You know what is the basic and most important rule of our club? Sex, drugs, rock and roll? Punch when you hate to punch? Or who? What? You do not talk about soap club? Good. Now remember to follow it. More questions, dude? I'm in a rush. How the fuck did you come here? I was here the whole time. Blind cleaner. More questions, dude? I'm in a rush. Whatever. He's just gonna... I think that's the end of all that. Whoa! Very agile. Pretty sick flip there. Can I get in the ring and go a few rounds just for shits and gigs? Soap club. Okay, yes, but I would actually like to acquire the soap probably. Can I make everything soapy? You look you look like you're uh, a little bit sweaty. Let me spritz you off a little bit. Oh, okay, just like that all of a sudden I can I can actually clean everything up. So it's all good. Oh, I might have to go re-soap my stuff because it stopped working. I think there was a bunch of blood on the side here. Oh, the narrator's gone. Should we just leave this on the wall, though? Keep it as, like, a little decorative thing so when people come in, they know that this boxing arena is uh, is meant for fighting? I, I can clean it if you insist. I, I think it added a little special something to the room, but if you want it gone, then I, I can do that for you. Oh, shit, that fell right off of him, so back on. I think I've cleaned everything, though. I should check, uh, like, both sides of these mattresses. I think this one... This one may have had a bloody side. Ah, uh, yes. So thorough. They're gonna have to pay me the big bucks. Alright, I'm out of here, Taylor. I think you can take care of it from here. I'm super finished. You're gonna love what I did with the place. You're not gonna notice anything wrong. Except for the guy who's just kind of shadow boxing no one and somehow losing. That's a little bit that you might notice that. Oh, I didn't really clean the body there. <laughs> that, that's what you told me. I considered that covered. You're all of a sudden saying that's not good enough? That you changed your standards and that's not my fault. Mission failed? Ah, come on. Get out of here. I covered him up as much as you wanted. That's not on me whatsoever. You're going to pay me XXX? I don't even actually get money? Oh, I got $500. But then they found the body and took it away. Well, there's only the five things to do right now while it's in beta. I don't know if I'll bother going for these other ones. The extracurricular activity and the ghoul. It's silly or whatever, but honestly, there's not as much freedom as House Flipper. 
So I think I do prefer House Flipper. I'll, I'll have a link to that in the end cards if you guys want to check that out. I'll also have a link to Serial Cleaner, which is another game about hiding bodies that I played with Ryan, like, at least a year ago. So if you want more from this developer, House Flipper, if you want more of this theme of game, then Serial Cleaner. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.